is um, you might get one of your questions asked. So if you've got a question for Alex um, about the device, about the concept of, of Cano, please get it in. I'll do my best to get that asked. The other thing as well, please get involved. Like if you know someone, if you know a child, if you know a parent, if you know a teacher out there who will benefit from seeing this content today, tag them in below or chuck a share on it. It won't only help us out and that person, there is something in it for you. So um, we are giving away this actual device right here, which has now replaced my head. Um, and I've got to admit, like I wanted to open this up. I have been dying, dying to unbox it myself, but because I'm a nice guy, I am not going to do that. And I'm going to keep it boxed for the lovely winner of this Cano's PC. So if you want to win, um, I think the link's just being put into chat now. Uh, get involved with the Gleam competition. There's loads of different ways you can win it. And um, like Alex is showing, it's an amazing device. It's an absolutely stunning device. So um, yeah, get involved. So I hope that wasn't, um, I suppose, news for you, Alex. I hope you're, um, you're okay with what I've just said and you know we're giving away a device and we're gonna be asking you questions. <laughs> well, wh whoever gets it, like, uh want to hear from them after want to hear what they think a hundred percent a hundred percent so um get involved get involved um we just spoke about the device i mean i've got it here it, it's it's kind of like the perfect marriage in my opinion because you've got the power of windows 10 on there on a device at an entry level price point so is it around 300 pounds in the uk yep 300 pounds exactly and for that, I mean, just to reel off like the specs, I mean, this one that I've got here, you know, it's Windows 10, it's got um, Intel processor, four gigabytes of RAM, it's got internal memory storage of 64 gig, and then you can add in all these extra components. Never mind, it's got a touch screen, it's got a, a like a, um, an attachable um, keyboard um, and a precision touchpad. What else is involved in this product? Like it, 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 it sounds perfect. Well, what you're seeing here is kind of the, the community of, of, of young people and older people who are making and playing on Kano every day. So, you know, this is a creation that someone has come up with. It's just a simple square creation. I can go back and show you some more. You kind of become part of this world of people who are making art, making music, making games and doing it, you know, with code. They're guided along the way. They're collaborating. So look, how to make steps, hover your mouse over the canvas and it will create yeah. some shapes. By the way, the shapes will be in rainbow color. But I can open that one up, go to remix, and then I can actually see the, uh, the code that this, uh, initially in block-based code, that this user made. So that will open up in a second. There's all of their code. And uh, if I had my mouse plugged in, that would, that would go because this is a mouse-based creation. Um, you can also get on here content um, that will integrate with, you know, Star Wars, uh, Frozen, and Harry Potter. Um, you can get the 3D modeling tools. You can get, uh, you know, any application, whether it's Slack or an, or anything else. Um, and you get all these challenge packs like mythical animals and monsters, playing with food, color, animation, make a pong game. The great outdoors, make a clicker game, logic, variables, events, loops, getting started with Cano code, and even coronavirus learning at home. So there's literally hundreds of hours of content. If you're a teacher, we have a year of curriculum available for you in addition to obviously these video tutorials, mm -hmm. which come inside. I'll just play one of those now. Perfectly. This time, we're going to take all of the skills that you've learned so far and put them together to make one big thing. And there you go. What we're going to be making. And um, yeah, Alex, for people who are watching, who are maybe you know on uh, looking at buying a, a device like this, like what is the importance of code? Maybe we could talk about that slightly. I mean, there might be people out there who don't really understand what code is and why. Why is it so important in your your opinion? Well, I think it's just it's just one part of of understanding the world in which we all live, you know, it's like we, we came up at school and we, we had the three R's, you know, reading, writing and arithmetic. And, you know, the, this area of 
the world around you, whether it's it's buzzing away in your pocket or streaming us into conversation now or determining like the movement of, of money through the financial system. Now that that power shouldn't be reserved to just, you know, a small fraction of society. And so, I mean, there's sort of a, a, a public good element, but it's also just fun. Like, you know, whether it's um, making your own artwork, making your own game, um, making something that you've taken for granted, like Minecraft, work in a new and different way. You know, that's just the spirit of, of creation that exists in every human being. And when we're young, it's very much, you know, untethered. It's very much like, you know, professional requirements and social pressures haven't yet reached us when we're young. And so we, the intrinsic human um, desire to like look inside things, like you see greater apes do this as well, like look inside things, take them apart, make them do something new is so strong. And if you can give someone at an early age the ability to do that, not only with a pencil and pen, um, pencil, pen and paper or or a, or a, a geometric um, mathematical textbook, but you can give them the ability to do that with the technology that's going to stay with them for the rest of their lives, that they're going to see literally the first thing when they wake up in the morning and see most times the last thing they, they see before they fall asleep and spend more than half of their waking hours on. If you give the ability to play in that space, you know, you're going to give them not only, you know, the ability to like, hey, maybe write an application that becomes very successful or start a company or become a designer or become a filmmaker. You're going to give them this intrinsic confidence in life because they know that the world around them isn't just something that is there and they have to accept, but it's something that can be remade, remixed, re re rethought by them. And so, yeah, I think, I think that's, you know, code is just, um, we're speaking in codes right now. Our, you know, we're using the English language, which encodes different shared meanings that we have in our minds because of our shared upbringing in English speaking context. Like, you know, the computer has its own language, many layers of language. You can learn different parts of it on Kano. You know, um, here's actually, that's a pr pretty decent segue. I mean, this is how we, we demystify binary on Kano. You do different binary strings and different binary strings make different emojis. So rather than go, going into the hard mathematics, we encode all of these pictures yeah. in binary. So just you can see how, there we go, just one digit change will go from a clap um, to a prey, which is kind of profound. And then we also, we also take you into things like memory, you know, like how many things can your compute, can you remember at the same time? Then let's think about how many your computer can remember. And then, you know, the software shows you an image of the actual, um, chipset and then you can turn your computer around and see the chipset on the back you might have also noticed this uh this tree here well if you look really yeah. closely here is the code that makes that tree that is code in coffee script uh -huh. that literally draws that tree so you can see that pattern be inspired by it you know turn it around type it into the machine make your own version share it and have someone in ghana someone in you know sierra leone remix your creation and so you come together around this shared space that transcends the physical transcends the digital and is more about the the human you know what we can all understand and communicate together it's 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 so clever i mean even i'm understanding it which means you're onto a winner here um alex oh, if, I, if i if i'm if i'm the baseline you know you're gonna reach everyone because um i'm definitely not in coding but i i was i, I was chatting to um my mate earlier and we both want one so it's not just for children is it this is the thing it's for anybody who wants to get into code and even on the box here i've noticed a little easter egg um it just it does show you on the box like this is how your computer thinks in switches can you decode the message so you've, you've got these little easter eggs all over which is inspiring um people to get involved in code and try and demystify it um and mm. i think the way you're doing it is, is so so good with with the code like different levels of code can you kind of is there introductions on to different languages as well because i know there's different types of code that people can learn yeah so we start you off with like just straight up terminal commands so as you as the computer comes to life there's an onboarding experience where you use terminal commands to make sounds and and, and that's just the simplest form which is 
almost any computer in the world, even the lowest level has a terminal. You can send it an instruction and it will do something. And we just teach you a few of those, like the way, like if you were in a foreign country for the first time, you'd want to know, like, you know, please, thank you, you know, two beers, please. I, I don't know, whatever. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, that's kind of the beginning. And then, and then we move to like uh, block based code where we, instead of um, introducing you right away to like typing out things with complicated syntax, we let you use these jigsaw puzzle pieces where you connect those and bring programs to life. Those jigsaw puzzle pieces output in JavaScript. Eventually we get you into writing that JavaScript step by step. We tell you exactly what to type. As you type it, you draw a circle, you color it yellow, you draw a background, you color it blue, you get a, a hint and another tip, and all of a sudden you've got a sunrise. Your yellow circle on your blue background is, is moving up and down. Um, so we introduce you, you know, to a, kind of a range of, of programming languages, but we also combine it with, you know, really, really fun and simple guidance in drawing. So you're, you're making a spray paint can, you know, in design, you know, you're making a, a, a game where uh, you have to match the sizes of different shapes. Um, and then we, we take you even outside of the realm of coding, because it's not all just about coding. I mean, there's 3D modeling software on the device. So you, you saw mm -hmm. the Stegosaurus, you could warp that and change it and maybe even go and 3D print it. Um, there's standard office suites, some things you can do. You can do a PowerPoint, you can do a Microsoft Word. Um, so I think one way we, we look at this, and I'm so glad you, you know, you'd be interested in getting it for yourself is, you know, yes, there's a, there's a specialism and an emphasis on these next generation skills and ways of thinking, but even a, the best program, if there, there could be such a thing, even the most like obsessive programmer, they're not spending all their time programming, you know, they're, they're bringing other things and doing Photoshop and bringing things together. And so we engineered a machine that allows that. And we're really happy to see in performance benchmarking performs way better than other laptops at this price point. And the battery, you know, ours Technica said, we not only heavily outperform like budget laptops in terms of our battery life, um, but we were on par with much pricier machines, like high end machines. So this thing just lasts forever. Um, it looks beautiful um, and it it's kind of raw and honest in its design. And so we want that raw transparency to flow through into the software as well. You know, it's all about that really at the end of the day, that sort of that sort of openness and that enthusiasm to just open things up and, and, and play with them. And I think, you know, that's what makes it feel more like a game than, than any sort of homework and like a, more like a real computer even than an educational tool. That, that, that's it and that's that for me is where education is it's at its finest you know when you don't realize you're learning where you're, you're just involved in the process where you kind of you're having fun while creating you know that that is the perfect balance and like we said earlier the reference to Meccano you know I'm I'm no engineer <laughs> never have been never will be but um the same about building a computer you know I'm I don't want to be a computer genius I, I you know i should have started many years ago if i was going to do that but what this does um really well is it it brings that intrigue you know where you could i can look like you mentioned the phone earlier i've never seen the inside of a phone you know i don't have a clue what it looks like and to me it's a bit of a mystery it's just a box mm -hmm. and i have no connection with it bridging the gap between like seeing everything and that connection that human connection where you can actually oh what happens if i unplug this bit well the device goes off what happens if i change this bit around you know it just it really adds that next level of um relationship with machines which i think it is so needed it is so needed um apologies if you can hear that there's um there's a large noise outside um you've gone on you've you've been quoted before to say um like Cano has a, a punk rock spirit, which I've got to say, I did, I did enjoy that quote. Is, is that true? Like, where does this punk rock spirit come from? And, and what, what, you, what do you mean with, with like, Cano's got a punk rock spirit? I guess where you know the the origins of digital technologies were in a context where people were in rebellion you know people it was kind of like 
you know, when the first transistors came to be and the, the first networking technologies that allowed the internet to come into existence, you know, people were looking for ways to break down the barriers between people, um, whether by like creed, race, geography, or socioeconomic class. And, you know, Steve Jobs and Steve was, they started out hacking telephone systems. You know, they, that's how they got their start. They were building boxes to send um, tones down the phone line that would allow them to get, you know, free phone credits. And, and you know, there was this real idea, like with the Homebrew Computer Club, which was a group of hackers in Mountain View, California, who, you know, they came together and they, you know, spawned a lot of the modern world, like that computers had been in business contexts, like the I, basically the IBM international business machines, right? The IBM mainframes were being used to sort of take people's uh, time cards at work and to like track, you know, what they're doing at all times and, and to automate industrial systems and to basically make the world more industrial and more mechanized and more one size fits all. And so the whole original personal computing revolution was like, well, if we can take these digital technologies that are right now used by businesses to control people and we put them in every home and we put them in the hands of the people and everyone can use a computer, not just the, the hackers and the hobbyists, but everyone can use a computer, then we will free people's minds um, and we'll create an, an enormous um, wave of human flourishing and creativity. And to a large extent, that did happen. I mean, you know, it's incredible what, what's available to us today. You know, we have, we can get any song, any idea in our culture, you know, it's just in your pocket. You can get 4G internet on Mount Everest. These are more powerful than the mainframe that took Apollo to the moon. And we, we all have, them. yeah, yeah. And we, we all, have, we all have them, right? But I think the, the world in which we're in with the major tech platforms and the biggest of them are companies that are basically making their money on exactly like IBM, sort of knowing as much about you as possible and feeding you information to get you to do something, which is to click on an ad. You know, that's really the what Google and Facebook are doing. You know, that, cre and also, you know, throwing their hands up in the air when it comes to the information content of what they put out and saying, we, we can't moderate this, you know, we don't care if it's a Russian bot um, in your newsfeed giving you something fake as long as you're clicking on the ad, you know, for us, like the, the punk rock idea is like, is like, hold on a second, you know, technology is not just something you buy or you use technology is something you do, you know, technology comes from the, 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 the root word in Greek techne and techne in, in ancient Greek was an idea, a really broad idea, which meant art or skill, not like a, you know, a, a spanner, or a screw, it was like a human quality, your techne. Yeah. So your techne or my techne, we would all have our own technes and like together we would come together and the technology would be our human association, which would allow us to do amazing things. And I think we want to bring that idea back. Q-tip once described the kind of uh, original computer kit as humanizing technology. And I, I think, you know, the, the reason is punk rock spirit in a way, and I love Rage Against the Machine. I was just listening to Rage Against the Machine before this call is like, we can use machines to rage against the machine. Like we yeah. can use, it, it shouldn't be like technology messed up democracy. So let's stop using technology. It's more like, let's do this judo move. And Kano is named after the founder of judo, Kano Jigoro. Let's use this judo move. Let's take the aspects right. of technology that, <laughs> that's a little factoid for the audience. Let's use that's that good technology to, to take the power back as the rage against the machine yeah. goes, song goes and give it to, anyone, the ability not just to use a computer, but as it says on the top of the slide, to make a computer. Anyone can make a computer and anyone can make computers do something new. And our design mentality and our commercial mentality and the reason why we're coming to eBuyer where a lot of people believe in this and you know, people on eBuyer, they know how to build computers. They know you can, they're skilled, but not everyone in the world is as skilled. And so we want to give, give people something that, especially if you're a kid, that starts them from absolutely no knowledge and turns them into you know, people who are then, you know, smashing guitars 
or computers on stage. So I guess that, I guess that's kind of what, where it comes from. I'm, I'm not I'm not going to quote you there, Alex, as um, encouraging children to smash guitars on stage. But I love <laughs> I love the attitude. I love the attitude. Like, um, and I, I wholeheartedly agree. Like, it is about time people started challenging their own. Um, you know, making themselves accountable in a way. Like, you know, it's all one to say technology is this, technology is that. But, you know, you're giving people power to, ch to change that, you know, and um, people should get involved. You know, it is, it is punk rock in, in that sense. It is, it is wrestling back the power um, piece by piece. And I think to inspire people, old or young, um, to do that is, it, 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 it deserves that title. It really does deserve. So thank you for answering that. That was a, that was a really inspiring uh, response. Um, right. We're almost up to time at the minute, um, but before we show some of these accessories, because I wanna show, like, I wanna bring up some of the extra things that you can add in. Let me just remind the guys who are watching. So um, if you're just joining us, welcome to the stream. Um, I'm Gareth, today's host, and next to me is Alex, who's the CEO of Cano, and we've just been um, talking about what Cano is all about its origins, um, how it's here to kind of inspire, you know, the next generation of, of coders and people who just want to get involved in technology. And um, you guys have the chance to win this device, which is here right now. So um, I'm going to spin it around that way. Um, this is the device that you're going to win, um, courtesy of Cano and eBuyer. And all you have to do is get involved with the stream. So um, the link is in chat right now. Alex has got the unpackaged version. So if you want to see what it looks like outside of the brand box, this is what you're going to be getting. It's an awesome bit of kit, um, perfect for young people. Um, but equally, if you just want to get into coding and technology and get hands on, this is it. Um, so um, yeah, click the link. It, uh, the competition's on Gleam. Um, we've got, I think, four chances for you to win. So may as well enter them all and get involved, get involved, tag somebody in who wants to see this and share it out because um, you're helping us and no doubt you'll help inspire. Even if you inspire one child um, to get involved with Cano, you'll be doing a good thing for everyone. Look at it. It's a thing of beauty. Now, um, we mentioned at the start, Alex, um, some of the bits that definitely made me smile when we showed the video. What are the, and, and for me, this is the thing that really got me, that there is a certain amount of accessories and kits that you can purchase for Cano, is that right? Yeah, exactly. So the, these are going to be arriving in about a month. So you can get in on the ground floor now, but we've done three accessories. One is a camera. It's a webcam that has this beautiful flexible arm. I got the packaging here somewhere as well. Fully recyclable packaging, of course. And the Beautiful. flexible arm allows you to both, you know, point at yourself, point behind, point wherever you want. And the camera is also um, flexible in its feature set. It, it has a macro lens in addition to a standard lens. So you can zoom in, you can do standard, and then it's got a privacy cover right on it as well and an LED flash. So, you know, at 30 bucks, you're getting a 1080p webcam that just does more than, than anything else you could get. So we're really proud of that one. Great one, obviously, for at-home learning if, um, if you want it. And then it, uh, we have uh, headphones that are modular. So you actually build these headphones with a simple step-by-step -step book. Um, no soldering, obviously, just plug stuff in. Um, really great sound quality, very comfortable. Um, they look great. And then the mouse as well. Click that together. It's transparent. Comes with a book that demystifies how an optical mouse actually works, how a scroll wheel works. Uh, and again, it's just a really solid $30 mouse, high quality will work with any computer, not just the Cano computer. All these accessories um, kind of speak to our overall design philosophy, which is to make um, products that are warm and inviting and high quality, but accessible in their price point, um, and that open people's minds as well. Kids, teachers, parents, open your minds as you're using technologies that you might uh, have otherwise taken for granted. The, the, the camera is the one for me. Like The camera, it, it looks like something out of a, a, a sci-fi movie you know it looks like one of these little robots like um, that's the noise it would obviously make but um totally. 
the fact it's got like the macro, like you can actually zoom in on stuff. Like kids, like mm. not never mind kids. I love that. Like I, I love that. Like the fact you can like really zoom in on things and you've got the little privacy. I think they're really cool. They've definitely got that same right. ethos about them, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's um, we like that whole idea of looking closely at things. So actually the Cano PC, I didn't, I didn't mention it, but um, the PC itself comes with a magnifying glass. So when you get it, you can look with a magnifying glass close up at all of the components. Um, and then in the software, learn how to change them and, and manipulate them in different ways. So the whole ethos of looking closely at something, demystifying something so that you can make it yeah. do something new in the PC and in the accessory. Amazing. Amazing. And what, what is the, um, what are the other kits that you've got? Um, like I know I've seen the, that you've got a, a wand and you've also got, yeah. um, is that Star Wars thing where you put your hand over the top? Yeah. Yeah. So we've, we, we have some great extensions. Uh, one is uh, the Harry Potter coding one. And what that is, it's, it's a fully, um, Harry Potter universe product where you, you put together a wand and then you connect it to a computer, to our app. And then you cast spells. It detects gestures in three dimensions um, using mm -hmm. machine learning. And then when you do a real magic spell in the real world, creates the spell in the digital world. And then we teach you how to change and augment that spell to make it do what you want it to do. Um, so that's a really exciting product, the Harry Potter coding one. That was like the top selling electronic learning toy on Amazon. And we have two other products, Star Wars and Frozen sensor products. These are grids of sensors. And as you wave your hand above them, infrared light bounces off your hand and it detects where your hand is in 3D space. And then that detection of your motion, again, causes uh, the force or a Jedi mind trick or um, in Frozen's case, elemental magic to happen on screen. And then you're guided to make that magic your own, make that force power your own, and then share your creation with the world. So um, you can start with the Cano PC and move to these additional products, or you can just get these products by themselves and use them with the computer you are, you already have. So it's kind of a, you, you've got multiple ways in, um, if you just want to try something, uh, kind of lower price from us to start. And that's amazing. And you just casually throw it in, you know, you can, you can just ha have a little bit of the force, just a little bit of the force there, you know, just for good measure. Um, interesting Probably. trivia question, Alex, before we wrap up, um, dark side or light side which which one do you tend to navigate between i think what's so great about that you know star wars is like you know it is like a real hero's journey and like i think everyone is tempted by both the, the light side and the dark side and you know what's so what's so great about it is like it acknowledges the fact that you know a a anger and you know the desire to control and uh, fear and they can, they do create a form of power, but it's an unsustainable form of power. You know, it's one that will, will eventually devour you from, from within. So, I mean, I'm, I think I'm, we're all hopefully aiming for the light side and, you know, sometimes we step into the dark side and we, we can't, we got to count on the people around us to you, you tell us and be like, listen, you know, like uh, Qui-Gon Jinn says to Anakin, um, ultimately unsuccessfully, um, or Dumbledore says to Harry in Harry Potter, you know, you, you've got to, you got to be drawn back to the light side by the people you trust sometimes. So I, I'd say aspiring for the light side, but like everyone sometimes going to the dark side. A strong Sith. You No, I won't do that. Um, <laughs> Alex, I could sit here for hours and I'm, I'm sure you couldn't because you're, you know, the CEO of, of Cano. Um, I think we're going to wrap up very shortly. There is so much more that I think I personally want to do and I'm sure eBuy does as well. So maybe we'll do this again because I think getting hands on is the next thing I'm dying to do. Like I want to show mm. everyone watching at home, like the demos, the, the things that we can create. Um, mm. So maybe that's, Maybe that's one for the future. Maybe that's something we could do again. Um, I'd be really up for that. And I'm, I, you know, I'm hoping you would as well. I would definitely be up for that. Um, yes. There's a, there's a ton we can do. The system is very um, responsive. And just to, because it seems like we're wrapping up, I've just coded right here on screen. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
some kind of there's the code right there up there that's amazing and uh look how really easy it is look how a, easy it is that's amazing alex thank you so much and and thank you for everyone for tuning in we've had um we've had a few people in chat let me just double check if there's any questions come in if you're watching this yeah. on replay as well guys like we said earlier still get your comments in because if me and alex aren't live um we will still do our best to get in the comments and answer your questions that's what this stream's all about so let me just have a quick scan through um les drake welcome to, welcome to the stream he says hi um ian um is a bit uncertain whether cano is available in his region but i can see the good guys at ebuyer are in comments sorting that out so thank you for that and the enderson welcome to the stream welcome back to the stream um liam kingswell has made a comment um I don't know if you're going to like this one, Alex, but I'm going to read it anyway. He has said you've got a. He said he, he said you've got a, a, a flavor of Kylo Ren, he, so he thinks you're more dark side than light. I don't know if that's a compliment. I'd take I, it. That's a huge compliment because he's probably the best looking person in the world. That guy, like you know, he what's his name? Adam Driver. Yeah. So mm -hmm. thank you very much for that, um, and uh, hopefully my life doesn't end in the way Kylo Ren's does. Oh, although I guess he kind of saves the world in the end. He kind of goes to the light side. Oh, this may be a spoiler. But, oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> we'll have to put it that. We'll, we'll edit that in. We'll put spoiler alert. Yeah. Um, I'm, if you've not seen that now, you're not a fan. So, you know, I'm just going to put well, that in Well, thank you, there. Um, There's another comment around the webcam. Um, sure. I can see the webcam for pre-order. Are the mouse and headphones soon to follow? Um, I don't know if that's something you'll answer or eBuyer. You're nodding. Yeah. yeah. They, they will. Yeah. So literally, like, check within the next probably couple of weeks, and you'll see a, a landing page with. Uh, and sign up to our email list on our website. You'll be the first to know. But um, camera, we we emphasize for the PC launch, but headphones and camera to follow within weeks of the of the. Uh, sorry, headphones and mouse to follow within weeks of the camera. Nice. And is there anything else? Um, from yourself, Alex, is there any anything you can tell us? Is there any new ideas coming out? Any new accessories? Anything like that? Yeah, well, yeah, there is. <laughs> yeah, we're that's always making new stuff. We're, we're always making always new stuff. Making like stuff. We, that's like the th the whole thing is just you know. Sometimes we we make too much stuff, you know. But if you if you join our community, if you you know go to our website, sign up cano.me, cano.me, uh, you'll be the first to know um, when the new stuff comes. And of course, if you get a Cano PC, we're always putting new software on there. So there's a new software application called Artopia, which is like a collaborative drawing application over the internet. R really awesome app that you can get. Um, there's a there's a new animation app coming really soon. Um, so. Um, yeah, some software drops, the accessories drops, and then some more drops to follow. Exciting. Very exciting. Um, yeah. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the stream. I hope you enjoyed it as well, Alex. And, Great. Um, thank you. We will be back soon with another episode of eBuy Live. Um, just to remind you, if you do want to get involved in Winner Can PC, um, click the link that's in chat. And um, that'll give you all the instructions you need. Um, enjoy the rest of your day, um, everyone who's watching, and yourself as well, Alex. And um, we will see Thanks. you on the next episode. Thank you very much.